Good day students, welcome to mathgoodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over section 2.1b of our Algebra 1 virtual text. We're going to be looking at how to solve one step equations with a special focus on decimals. Before we get started, we're going to do a real quick review on some rules that are going to be guiding our problem solving process. Okay, So we're going to review the rules for adding and subtracting rationals. Okay, Rules for adding and subtracting rationals. Now, they can be narrowed down into two categories. One is same sign and the other is different signs. Okay, So before you apply this rule, you have to first of all make sure that you do not have two signs adjacent to each other. Okay, So when adding and subtracting rationals, if you have the same sign the two rationals you're adding and subtracting, if they have the same sign, what you do is you add and keep the sign. Okay? Add and keep the sign. For example, uh, if you have uh, 2, negative 2 minus 2, alright? These two rationals have identical signs. So all you do is you add the numbers, 2 plus 2 is 4, and then you keep the sign that they will have in common, which is negative. Okay? What if you have different signs? Different signs. If you have different signs, in that case you subtract and keep the sign of the bigger. Okay? And keep the sign of the bigger. Okay, so for example, if you have um, something like this, negative 7 plus 4, now you notice that 7 and 40 have different signs. The sign of 7 is negative and the sign of 4 is positive. In a case like this, you subtract the number 7 minus 4 is 3. And then you keep the sign of the bigger. The bigger of the two numbers is 7. So since it's negative, the difference will be negative. Okay? And another thing you need to remember are the inverse of um, our different operations. Alright, so let's look at that. To um, <coughs> review on inverse operations. So why do we care about um, inverse operations? Well, that is how we solve algebraic equations, by using inverse operations. We're focusing on addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay? So what are the review inverses that uh, we're going to be looking at? Well, we'll start with the inverse, the inverse of... Uh, addition is what? The inverse of addition is subtraction. Okay? So what does that mean? It means that if you have an addition situation, you use a subtraction to undo it. For example, if you have x plus 5 equals 3, if you want to undo this addition by 5, you use the inverse of plus 5, which is minus 5, you apply that to both sides in order to solve your equation to get x equals different signs, subtract and keep the sign of the bigger, negative 2. Okay? Uh, if the inverse of addition is subtraction, it also follows that the inverse of subtraction is addition. Now the inverse of um, multiplication is what? The inverse of multiplication, or the product, is division, or the quotient. Alright? So, for example, we have a product situation. Let's say we have um, uh, 5x equals 3. Now, the operation that binds 5 and this variable x together is the product operation. If you want to undo this bond that they have, you have to use the inverse operation. And the inverse of multiplication is division, so you just divide by what you're multiplying the variable by in order to 
separates this 5 from this x, okay? So this 5 gets divided out because 5 over 5 is 1. And then you end up with x equals 3 over 5, highlighting the inverse relationship between multiplication and division. All right, now let's take a look at some examples. So the goal here is to just solve the decimal equations and um, that will be that. Okay, so solve. Number one, let's say we have x minus 15.3 is equal to negative 7.1. Now we notice that we want to get x isolated so we need to get rid of, rid of negative 15.3. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So our solution. So we let's rewrite the problem. X minus 15.3 is equal to 7, negative 7.1. So to undo this minus 15.3, we're going to use the inverse of subtraction, which is addition. So we're going to add 15.3 to both sides of the equation. Okay. Because it's an equation, in order to preserve equality, as the name suggests, we have to ensure that whatever we do to one side, we do exactly the same thing to the other. Okay, so this 15.3 added to 0. So we have x is equal to, so these two, um, we're going to subtract them using our calculators. So let me show you how to enter a difference using a TI-84, so negative 7.1, notice I'm not using minus or else you get a syntax error, negative 7.1 plus 15.3, and your answer is 8.2, okay, 8.2, and that's the answer to question one. All right, let's try another example, question two. What if we have the following one-step equation with decimals? Uh, 11.4 plus the variable n equals 12. All right, how do we solve this one? All right, let's rewrite the problem. We have 11.4 plus n equals 12. Now, to solve for n, we need to get rid of this 11.4. Now, since 11.4 does not have a sign, the invisible sign that we're going to assign to it is positive, okay? So the leading term, if the leading term does not have a sign, the default sign is positive, okay? If it were negative, the sign will be um, indicated there. So how do we get rid of 11, positive 11.4? What we're going to do is use the inverse of plus 11.4, which is 2, subtract... 11.4 from where? Both sides of the equation. Okay? I'm going to subtract 11.4 from both sides of the equation. And these two are inverses, so they add up to 0. And then we're left with n equals, well, let's compute the difference out of calculators. Of course, it's easy to see that it's going to be 0.6, but let me just show you with a calculator 12 minus 11.4 and it's uh, 0.6 okay if you wanted to do this by hand all you do is you just add 0 0.0 and then of course you borrow 1 from the 2 and make it 10 and then 10 minus 4 is 6 so we have positive 0 0.6 because 11 minus 11 is 0 and the bigger sign is positive, so the answer is going to be positive also. Okay? All right, let's take a look at another example. Let's say we have a situation where there are two adjacent signs. So let's say you have x plus negative 7 equals 11. Let's take a look at what the solution to this one is. So we have x plus negative 7 equals 11. Now how do we resolve a situation like this? You have plus times a minus. This is a times here. 
So whenever you're multiplying or dividing signs, you have to remember that when the signs are different, the product will be minus. When the signs are the same, the product will be um, plus. All right, let's review that real quick so you know that minus times minus is plus, plus times plus is plus, minus times plus is minus, and plus times minus is minus. So when the signs are different, the product is going to be minus, and when they're the same, the product is going to be plus. In this case, you're different, so the product is going to be um, negative, okay? So we have x minus 7 equals 11. Now we have only one sign to deal with, so we know what the inverse is. The inverse of minus 7, because we want to get x by itself, is plus 7. So we add 7 to both sides of the equation, and our final result is, so this adds up to 0, cancel that out, it adds up to 0, x equals 18, okay? So that's the answer to question number 3. Alright, let's take a look at question 4. Now this one will involve the use of another operation. Let's say we have negative 353.08 equals 19, uh, negative 19.4x. Alright, so what's the solution to this equation? Alright, so we have uh, negative 353.08 equals negative 19.4x. So we want to get x by itself. The thing that's preventing x from being by itself is this negative 19.4 that's being what? Multiplied by it. So in order to undo that bond, we need to use the inverse operation, which is what? The inverse of multiplication is division. So we divide both sides of the equation by a coefficient, negative 19.4, negative 19.4. So what happens is on the right side, negative 19.4 is divided out. So we can switch our equation around. x equals, now we're going to fire our calculators back up and divide. Minus of a minus is plus, so that's going to be a positive. We can just divide the numbers. 353.08, that's divided by 19.4. And our answer is 18.2, okay? Let me show you what the answer would be if I had used the sign. Alright, so if I put a negative here, it's not going to change anything, but let me just show it to you. So if I divide both of them, you still end up with positive. Remember, when you divide or multiply the same signs, you always end up with a positive. So 18.2 is the answer to question number 4. All right, let's take a look at one more example, then we'll give you some problems to try out to demonstrate mastery of the content we just covered. So for number five, let's say we have y divided by 14.8 equals negative 6.6. So the goal here is to solve. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. So we have, um, let's rewrite the problem, y over 14.8 is equal to negative 6.6. .6. Now the relationship between y and this number that's preventing y from being by itself is the division operation. What is the inverse of division? Multiplication, right? So we're going to multiply by the number that's been divided by, which is 14.8, but we do the same operation to both sides of the equation. Okay? So on the left side, this 14.8 um, and this 14.8 divide out to just 1, okay, and then we have y by itself, which is our goal, and on the right side, we're going to multiply the two numbers, negative 6.6 .6 plus, I mean, sorry, times 14.8. And the answer is negative 97.68, okay? 
to negative 97.68 is the answer to question number five. All right, so how well did you understand the problems we just did? We'd like you to try out the following problems. So go ahead and try these. So what you're gonna do is just solve these problems. Copy it down first and pause the video and then solve the problems. And when you're done, click on the playback button and uh, you will see the solutions displayed. Okay, so the goal is to solve the given equations. Number one, let's say you have negative 10.5 is equal to 0 0.8 plus x. Number two, what if you have m plus negative 1.6 equals 13.9? Three, what if you have 13 is equal to b plus three? Number four, what if you have negative 29 is equal to k minus 18? Number five, what if you have 3k is equal to negative 39.6? Number six, what if you have negative 17.69a is equal to negative 40.687? Okay, so go ahead and pause this video and I'd like you to solve the following problems. When you're done, click on the play button and then you will see the answers. All right, so hopefully you had a chance to try out the following problems. Let's go ahead um, and display the answers. Answers coming up. So the answer to question number one, x is equal to negative 11.3. For number two, m is equal to 15.5. For number three, b is equal to 10. For number four, k, is equal to negative 11. For number 5, k is equal to negative 13.2. And for number 6, a is equal to 2.3. Thanks for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of um, how to solve equations along with one step, to give us a thumbs up, your positive feedback is very valuable to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. If you have any questions or comments, um, just place it in the comment section um, below and we'll be more than glad to um, respond. More tools and support resources can be found on our website, mathbusserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.